South Florida is more than welcome as we see images like these from Miami Dade Fire Rescue. There of a grass fire this afternoon in Southwest Miami Dade, a fire that got dangerously close to homes in the area. Yeah, very intense. As you can see, the area we're talking about is near Southwest 72nd Street and 76th Avenue. The fire is happening in Trinity Pineland County Park. It's surrounded by large homes. Officials say if the dry weather continues, we could see more fires of this nature. And tonight, CBS 4's Naja Sherman is at the scene of that fire with more on what officials had to say about the progress they've made so far. Naja. Elliot, the good news is that this hour the fire is 100% contained. But if you look over my right shoulder, you might be able to see some embers still burning in the background. This was a close call and very concerning for people who live in this community. Our chopper four flew over the scene as crews worked to contain a large grass fire burning near homes. People who live in the area described to me what they saw. I just saw like just different fragments of wood just burning. Finally, I get to this tree and it starts crackling and there's a fire right where it started cracking and it just falls and like a huge gust of smoke and fire like came up. It was wild. We just saw smoke coming towards our apartment from our view. A viewer sent us these images of the fire at its peak. You can see the bright red orange flames and billowing smoke. Upon arrival, firefighters told us they found a large amount of trees on fire. The fire spread to a shed in the area. Crews worked to extinguish the shed fire. I heard the, the helicopter then that came out and I saw the, you know, two helicopters and I saw the, the chief battalion and he came up and looked around and then the trucks came by but um they said that we were not in danger. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue reminds everyone that with dry conditions, grass fires are more likely to occur. And due to smoky conditions in the area, they're advising people with respiratory conditions to remain indoors. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but they are still investigating the cause of the fire. Naja Sherman, CBS 4 News Tonight.